Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be celebrating Warrior Mania, uh, hopefully properly, but we will see how that goes. Bang, bang, bang. All right, so um, this was this was one of the hardest bases I think I've ever attacked uh, with just warriors. If it wasn't for Warrior Mania, there's no way I would have got it. You see here, I failed um, a ton of times on this guy's base. Um, it wasn't too insane on the ice. I mean, he had two masterpieces boosted, and then he had three building healths and one damage. So, basically my plan was here, guys. Um, I, I Since he had the shield gen so far on the side, there was actually not a whole lot of stuff in range here, aside from the grappler. Like, you see the rockets um, and the shock launchers are nice and tight towards the HQ. Um, so I didn't really have to worry about anything um, coming up on this left side here. So the first few times I did uh, three smokes up to the side because I didn't want to lose any uh, warriors to the grappler. Um, but then I decided it was just worth it to lose them to save the extra GB. Uh, there was a boom mine here, and there was one rate about here, I think, between the shock launch and more that I cleared out before. So you see right there, I take out the shield gen. Uh, before I do that, I throw some critters on uh, the sniper tower and the cannon right there just to deflect this shock launcher. And then we make our way over to the HQ. Now you see this flare here. I actually didn't mean to flare onto this boom cannon, but it kind of worked out. Um, anyways, because what I was doing before, I was flaring between the statue storage and the boom cannon, and then um, straight onto the HQ, and when I did that, I was able to avoid this boom mine that you can see right there. Um, apparently, I can't click on that. Um, so yeah, we flared onto the boom cannon, which actually worked out okay, and then I used another two smokes to cover uh, my fat walk uh, straight over to the HQ. And I say fat walk, I mean, I find when I flare onto the HQ with the warriors, they just kind of spread. Uh, a lot more than if you were gonna, gonna flare onto a smaller building. So we get them in here and the only thing I really needed to do was save for four shocks. So once I had everything shocked, uh, there was just this flamethrower and this machine gun back here that was touching me up. And uh, since I was able to get the this shock launcher in behind as well as all the other stuff, uh, I was able to just pound my way through it. So this was um, this was a, a really fun uh, warrior attack, and, and and this is like why I like warrior mania because normally I would just switch to something else, right? But since the warriors were so cheap, uh, we were able to just dive on in and uh, just keep going, keep going, keep going, almost like a sandbox mode. But we won't be talking anymore about that stuff, guys. Alrighty, so Doctor Terrence, Volcano Terrence, what does Terrence have for the chicken today, guys? Um, all right, so stage one, I'm just going to uh, destroy all these free buildings here. And I'm assuming it's going to be a, a pretty massive help, uh, Dr. Terrence, because the volcano, or not volcano, the tropical island that we got this week was really tough, um, especially for warriors. So I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I have a feeling that uh, Volcano Terrence today is going to be brutal, guys. So we're going to try to do it with the warriors. If not, I might switch to something else. I got a ton of diamonds loaded up from the last Dr. Terrence that, uh, that made the chicken um, call out to the diamond fairy, guys. So... Um, what do we want to do here? Let's just go clean up a bunch of these, a bunch of these boxes, and then um, we'll just kind of take out the free stuff. I mean, no real strategy involved on these earlier stages. Uh, it's just kind of clear a bunch of bunch of junk, and then uh, and then make our way in. So we are in this like mystical kind of forest today, guys. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, I, I I realized that this stuff is like eating through the chicken. Um, I, I tried to fix it, I can't. So uh, I'll I'll figure that out last time. I hope that doesn't destroy the video for you. It shouldn't really matter, I guess. But um, Okay, Dr. Terrence, Dr. Terrence, what do you got uh, for stage 3? Doesn't look like anything too, too crazy. A lot of boom cans. I should have crittered before. I'm going to lose a warrior there. Wow, wow, look at the health left on that warrior. It was actually able to tank the uh, the boom cannon. Alrighty, so, um, I don't know how we haven't lost any yet. Uh, okay, so we got everything nice and distracted. I guess it worked. That was interesting for sure. So, all right. So stage three goes down. Now we're probably gonna have to start doing actual attacks uh, from stage four and on. Okay. So, um, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell what um, what the health is really on these stages. I'll get a, I'll be able to have a better look at it once I actually get all the warriors uh, pounding away. If I'm gonna like two, three shot, four shot, then we can really start to tell if the today's Doctor Terrence is a lot harder than the other ones. Um, Alright, so we're going to smoke something like that. Now, I smoke a lot higher with the Warriors when I do this drop because they're not Zookas, right? They, they, they run very fast, so I don't have to be as worried about uh, the spacing. Alrighty, so we're on the HQ, guys. We're on the HQ. Um, this is a weird layout. 
I am enjoying the uh, the new Dr. Terrence layouts though. I know that's been around for a while now, but it is really nice. Like, I didn't really realize how annoying uh, it was getting doing the same warrior bases over and over and over again. And if you guys want to see me do more player bases, or if you just want to see more player base gameplay in general, like the first um, first attack that I did, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, I noticed a few people were saying that they were getting sick of Dr. Terrence. Um, I just like doing daily events because I don't know. It's like it, it's it's like the the thing to do that day, right? Um, but yeah, well, definitely at some point over the over the course of the, of the Warrior Mania, we will be getting into some uh, some. Um, Hopefully some really good player-based attacks like uh, that, the one I got this morning. Because uh, when I'm able to attack it multiple times for cheap amount of diamonds, I'm all for it. I uh, won't skip those bases until I find a way to beat them. Um, so stage 5. Stage 4 actually went down really quickly, so maybe it's not that bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flare onto here. I wanted to hit that, um, I wanted to hit that box first. So you see there, I gap the smokes because the boom cans are going to be, and that shock launcher are going to be way too slow to um, to actually fire on my warriors. So we'll have something like this. Easy, 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 easy. Uh, we, we managed to, to get all of them there somehow. Okay, so shock priority, shock launcher, flamethrowers, the usual stuff, guys. The usual stuff. One, two, three, four. Nope, we're not going to get that last one. Uh, probably going to lose a couple warriors that boom can on the bottom. Uh, but that's okay. Stage five went down pretty well, so uh, maybe maybe it won't be that bad of a Terrence today, guys. It's really it's really hard to tell. Like it it, it seems like it's not um, like you can't really gauge um, how hard it's going to be based on the first couple stages because sometimes you get a stage one that you can't even use barrage and artillery on uh, to take down completely, and then like the stage seven isn't that bad. I guess it depends pretty um, it, it depends pretty heavily on the layout that he uses exactly too. Um, so for this one, guys, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we bust out the hashtag chicken slingshot. Alrighty, um, we got all those down, and I'm saying this because I only see machine guns, and I don't see any shock launchers down on this left side. So we can kind of just use the warrior's speed to our advantage, and just like sprint around everything. Uh, kind of an ugly drop, but whatever. Um... So when you're doing this, you have to make sure that your flares are uh, are nice and um, not delayed. What's the word I want to use? Uh, they're nice and advanced, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. I'm not really sure, guys. Um, okay, so we're going to put this first smoke down there. The second one here. We should be able to bust through most of those mines. Um, and this is just kind of a fun way to switch up using warriors if you do get sick of using them the same like standard way like it, it I don't know it's just kind of fun to like control them as they're like really sprinting around crazily um so once we get on the HQ there's not really a whole ton of stuff here so I'm just gonna kind of launch out some critters and um some med kits as long as that shot as long as we take down before the shock launcher turns which we will um nothing really to worry about on uh, on stage six guys probably would have been a lot easier just to go straight at it but I mean we gotta make it uh, we gotta make it a little fun guys bust out the hashtag chicken slingshot every now and then all right, so we got one crystal, no other guaranteed crystals. All right, so pretty easy run so far. I mean, um, like I said, I thought I was expecting, um, I was expecting a lot more difficult Mr. Terrence today, but uh, hmm, so far it seems easier than the tropical one. This is kind of nasty. This is a bit of a nasty. Um, I mean, there's not that much stuff. There's no shock launchers, but there's so many freaking boom mines. Um, so I'm thinking I'll throw one barrage there, and then maybe one bucket of critters, or maybe I'll just use artillery actually, because I think I can get most of them. Um, I might just run into that one just for the sake of saving GBE. Um, alright, so I'm going to flare into this guy, and I'm going to kind of run on an angle from here, and I'm hoping that that keeps them somewhat bunched up, maybe not I guess. Yeah, that was stupid. I should have flared them down first. Um, so I'm gonna have to waste a med kit there, but I mean we're still looking okay. We got 78 GBE at this point. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to tank that uh, tank that boom mine, and we can two smoke over there, which is gonna be really nice. Um, so we've only lost three warriors, considering how bad that run was. That's uh, that's not bad at all, chicken. Okay, so um, we want to get the machine guns. We basically just want to get as many defenses as we can. Um, in one go here. Uh, there's not like a whole pile of uh, 
like, like, there's nothing we really need to look out for here. It's just, like, all the stuff. We can't let it let us, um, just melt us. We can't just let it hit us continuously, I mean. Because uh, there's no shock launchers. There's no, there's only, like, a couple flamethrowers. So, obviously, those are going to be the number one priority for using warriors, guys. Um, I'm sure you already know that by now. Um, alrighty, so we got one crystal, one fragment. And, uh, and yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. So, make sure to let me know. Uh, down in the comments how your warrior attacks are going. You see here I've got two laser beams uh, deployed and I was a I've actually been clearing Frank some beans nice. Uh, I've actually been clearing some uh, I've been gaining some pretty nice Intel um, From using the, the two lasers because everyone uses like the same hot pot doom cannon shield gen stuff, right? So I just wanted to switch it up and just kind of see like what um, What effect that would have on the people attacking me. So you see this guy here uh, Mr. Predator Rifle Zuka, probably not the best combo to take down um, two laser beams. Uh, he used three buckets of critters on on every single shock line. That is crazy. Um, so this looks like he just threw the critters down, launched them out, and then closed the app and just like hope for the best. Well, I guess he, he was throwing shocks out and stuff, but uh, I think that was pretty sloppy. He did get me, but... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm liking the lasers so far. Just to switch it up, get some new defense replays in, and um, get, get some intels of diamonds and everything like that. So that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Make sure to let me know down in the comments how your Warrior Mania is going. Um, are you gaining a lot of VP? I said I was going to try to get to 1,000, but I mean, I'm actually dropping VP, so who knows, guys? Who knows? So let me know that down in the comments, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like, fan, interesting, entertaining, and informative, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Check it out.